Lord, thank you that you are our rock in times of trouble. You give the peace that surpasses all understanding. And we ask you to be with us in these times that are so troubling and difficult for so many people. We're sorry that we're not with you at all times and not always certain of that you are there, but you are here with us wherever we go, in whichever situation you find ourselves in. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to us. Uh, now on the first advent, we are expecting his presence again in our lives and focus on the way that he changed everything beyond recognition. Thank you for the hope that you've given us with Jesus. Thank you that you died for us on the cross just to make us whole with you again. Lord, this is such good news in a time when there are so many bad news around. We thank you also that you've given us little signs of hope in our own lives. So many babies are expected and the cooks having one in January and others in the congregation as well. This is such a joy to see new life coming into this earth. So thank you for this blessing. Thank you also that there are some vaccines now and there's a hope of the end of this pandemic that has crossed all our lives such difficult times. Lord, we also pray for all the lonely people that are there, especially in lockdown. It's tough. We are made to be in relationship with you and with each other. And coping on our own can be quite hard. So thank you that you are there because there's no lockdown that can shut you out, Lord. You are with us. Your hope and your peace and your love will sustain us wherever we are. Thank you also that you're healing not just the bodies with vaccines, but also the mind and the spirit with your word. Thank you that this is there, readily available for us everywhere. And we pray that your word will find its way to everybody who needs it in these times. We also pray for those parts of the world where they don't have your word readily available, that there will be ways to find it, ways to get Bibles out there, ways for people to recite your word and preach it. So to give hope to the hopeless and lift up the spirits of those who are in despair because of the situation they find themselves in. Lord, there's many places on this world where your hope and your spirit is needed. So we pray that you bring this hope and your love to all of these regions and all of these people. And I'll just give a short time now for everybody to think of a particular region in the world where you want us to go. So Lord, you are hope, you are the healer of everything. And we thank you so much for what you are in our lives. And I want to close this reading Psalm 100 to us. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and he, we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues to all generations. And we pray this in your precious name, Lord. Amen.